This is Twit. So we've we talked about it every now and then, and I think it's come up, and some people might be aware of it, but you've all heard of uh, AMP, uh, the Accelerated Mobile Pages Project from Google, right? Mm-hmm. Um, which takes uh, web pages and when you load them on your device, formulates them into a more mobile-friendly, accelerated kind of version, right? But a lot of times that strips out stuff from the web page that the story exists on, that the article exists on. A lot of times it strips out comments, it strips out all stuff like that. And sometimes maybe you want that stuff. Maybe you don't want the AMP version, right? Who knows? Mm-hmm. If, you, if that's something you struggled with, you'll want to check out this app that's called Deampify, which basically gives you the option of being able to uh, load a web page that is not uh, the AMP version. Um, so it's important to note that when you load it, you get kind of a settings panel, right? And there's a free version that when you download that allows you to enable it um, and turn it on as well as manage exp- uh, manage exceptions for websites that you don't want to turn it on for or whatnot. You can upgrade to the paid version, which will then allow you to um, to add in Tasker implementation and uh, if you use Tasker, which is kind of neat. Um, I don't necessarily think you have to do that, Jason, but you, you, you already did it, so good job. There we um, go. <laughs> Very right, cool. Your yep. So now, so now you can uh, you you can use Deampify in Tasker, where you can set up uh, you know kind of well you need Tasker installed, but yeah. if you had Tasker installed, you'd be able to link the two. But so now that you've got Deampify running, um, Jason, if you go back to your uh, home screen and go to the Google search uh, bar and just type in you know like uh, Giant Score, you know like or just anything you know kind of that's going to get us some sort of news or something like that. I'm avoiding a large portion of. Uh, the world because I want to avoid politics. But uh, okay, so scroll down. Um, it's hard to find something that's there. You go. You see that little thing where it says AMP next to nine hours ago? That is an AMP enabled story or post. If you tap that now, you get you can choose to open it with Chrome where it will load as the AMP version or Deampify and hit Deampify. And what it will do is it will load this not the non AMP version. So if you want to get at, you know so if you want to access either the comments or other pieces that are no longer available in the AMP version just to give kind of an example so this is what the mobile version of this story looks like the regular web page uh, go back Jason to the Google search box right and open it with Chrome so we can show people what the AMP version looks like see so the top nav is gone right and mm-hmm. then if we scroll you know like there there are minor subtle changes but sometimes those changes strip out functionality. Yeah. And some people don't dig that. I know sometimes I'm trying to get to parts of a web page and the AMP version hides that. And so it's nice to have this kind of back, you know, in my back pocket that allows you to not have to load uh, the AMP version of, uh, of a post. So there it is. Deampify free in the Google Play Store or uh, with a in-app purchase of, what was it, $1.99 or? Uh, well, let me that? check my purchase history here. Two forty nine. Two forty nine. So two forty nine. So there it is. You're right. welcome, developer. Uh, deampify. Yeah, deampify. There you go. Uh, excellent. Great work. Excellent.